not just college basketball creating madness this time of year. College acceptance letters also hitting a mailbox near you. It's a stressful time of year, and we have learned recently that some parents are willing to go through some pretty great lengths to get their kids yeah. into certain colleges. Let's talk with Dr. Don about the stress that parents and kids are dealing with with this time of year. So yeah, it's it's March Madness too. Yeah. The <laughs> pressure, stressful, Don. The pressure of your, you know, rooting for your NCAA college uh, uh, team is uh, n nothing compared to the pressure of waiting for those letters to oh, come no. in. And some kids are getting them on their emails at school, which is oh. kind of a yucky oh. way to get uh, information. Um, we're we're going to work past the scams of the hyper-focused parents that have bribed and cheated and fabricated their way into institutions and really look at what happens when these letters come in and what parents' responsibilities are to their kids, hopefully not to implode like the kingdom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so let's talk with, you know, uh, let's talk first about what, when you get that letter, that, uh, that rejection letter, you didn't get in to the college that you wanted to get to, what's your advice to uh, help parents help their kids through that? Well, the first thing is Dr. Don's rule of the ABC is always be calm. Uh, again, you can't match the emotional intensity of your child. And there's three things. One is to employ empathy. Understand that rejection is a, an attack on their self-esteem and that the only loss that we don't grieve is loss of weight. So it's a loss and they have to process it. Give them time to work through that. Give them space to work through that. And then again, don't be too sympathetic. Oh, what a shame you would have been great there. Right. Again, that just adds to the burden of their rejection. And then again, clarify their choices and celebrate their choices. Again, they have choices, stress their strengths. You were smart enough, you have the grades, you had the resume to get into these other institutions. How can I help you manage those choices and not manipulate those choices? Again, saying, well, I think that X university would be great for you. Mm -hmm. Again, let them work through those choices and say, how can I help you with those choices rather than just saying, oh, let's look at this or let's look at the number two or number three schools. Right. Not getting into your dream school is okay. Again, these schools, a lot of these elite schools have uh, acceptance rates of under 10%, so it's more of a lottery. The reason they didn't get in is not because they weren't qualified, it's because there were thousands of kids that looked just like them. Right, do you, do you, so do you, do you boost that up and do you kind of be, you know, make that an important point and say this isn't just about you, this is about the system, right? As much as that will help, yes, but again, they have to deal with the rejection phenomenon, which is serious. Again, it's like not being invited to the prom. It's a very significant pain that they have to go through, but they have to come out the other side. Remember, again, it's not where you go. Where you go is not who you'll be. Mm -hmm. um, where you go is important, but again, in the grand scheme of things, after college, it's performance, not a parchment from a university. Mm, yep. So give them the confidence to say that and nix the naysayers, grandmas, aunts, uncles, friends that go, Just, oh, what a shame, you know, you have to go to X college or, well, you didn't get into that college, but remember, you should go where mom and dad went. Right. Again, celebrate their choices, stress their strengths and let them make that decision and then celebrate that decision with them because the next pressure is going to be. Uh, getting ready and then leaving for college. Right, exactly. Just keeps coming. Yep. I, I mean, those were stressful times. Those yeah, were, I can't imagine I remember getting it that. on an email in high school, though. So we'll have to work through well, that. Some of them time, are though. getting emails on their watches. Some oh, of them are getting on their, on their phones. And it really is a stressful time for them. And Dr. parents Don, should thanks. understand that pressure. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you very sir. much.